my my intuition in this video is that that uh, I, I want to describe uh, a relation uh, that should always exist uh, between science and democracy uh, in any democratic country and uh, uh, to start with uh, I think uh, science and and democracy uh, they are two fundamental pillars uh, that that shape modern societies and uh, and and play critical roles uh, in shaping in shaping our knowledge in shaping our understanding of the world and making us informed uh, 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 with 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 decision makings while seemingly distinct uh, these two concepts are i think uh, they are intricately interconnected and and their relationship uh, has has really profound implications uh, for the progress and uh, for the progress and the well-being of humanity uh, humanity at at basic level so uh, so in this uh, in this video uh, i would like to explore the the relationship between science and democracy and and uh, we, we will try to understand how they interact and and complement each other in shaping societal values and 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 policies and advancements uh, the rigorous ones so the first thing is uh, uh, that I, I just gave you a brief introduction that that what's my aim in uh, in in in, in, in describing this uh, this video now to start with uh, uh, I would like to talk about the essence of science so so what science does and, and what, are, what are the core values that are involved uh, that are involved in science and to be precise uh, science uh, is is a systematic and and it is evidence based approach uh, to understand the natural world uh, and uncover the underlying principles that govern it. So, through observations, uh, experimentations, um, uh, rigorous analysis, and and scientific inquiries, uh, and with predictions, uh, uh, the predictions uh, about. Uh, uh, predictions about the nature, the predictions about the universe, the predictions about um, about about anything that's over there. Uh, so science is it it is it is basically a systematic uh, kind of thing. Uh, but but whatever is there in science, uh, what what is the basis of all is the evidence. So 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 science is always supported by by evidence and if you don't have evidence then certainly uh, certainly the pastorate that we give uh, the law we try to perceive uh, they, these are thrown into the dustbin uh, and they, they don't find any 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 place uh, in in science uh, this uh, the, the 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 scientific methods uh, uh, they, they, they really foster uh, critical thinking uh, skepticism and, and and certainly openness to new ideas uh, which are which are essential qualities uh, for a vibrant democracy I mean I mean uh, to have a vibrant democracy uh, the, the, certainly these 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 scientific uh, pillars uh, they certainly play a role a very very important role so scientific knowledge uh, derived from the collective efforts of researchers uh, they offer insights into the complex problems uh, informs public policies uh, and certainly guides decision making processes therefore science uh, is a it's a commitment uh, to, to the objectivity and empirical evidence uh, and and it's 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 a powerful tool uh, in supporting any kind of 
democratic governors the governors that's out there uh, in any part of the world now the next thing uh, i talked about the, the essence of science uh, now i would like to talk about the essence of democracy uh, what democracy on other hand is uh, and and we, we understand that democracy on other hand is, is a form of government uh, in which power resides uh, uh, with the people uh, and and decisions are made through 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 majority uh, rule or or, or representations uh, that are there uh, it 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 ensures citizens participation uh, in in the decision making process uh, fostering uh, inclusivity diversity uh, and the protection of uh, the rights of the individuals and uh, uh, in, in in a democratic society uh, informed and active participation uh, i think this is the key this is the key for 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 a vibrant democracy what is that that's uh, that is uh, that is that's the pupil the citizens uh, they, they should be informed and they, they should be the active participants uh, uh, in, 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 in the issues, uh, uh, yeah, in the crucial issues. Uh, and and they, they, they should be actively um, involved in, in any kind of action that's there uh, by virtue of a, a democratic setup. And these things are allows diverse perspectives uh, to be considered uh, certainly promotes transparency and accountability in the governance uh, and guards against the concentration of power uh, in the hands of a few uh, which is the beauty of this uh, uh, th this this democratic setup uh, even if this democratic setup is uh, uh, is a virtual one uh, out there it, it certainly has powers and these powers have to be translated uh, into practicality on the ground level the the the, the democratic system enables uh, the, the peaceful resolution of conflicts and and facilitates the implementation of of policies uh, that can reflect the will of the people so uh, this is the essence of the democracy I was talking about, and 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 let us try to find a, a, a philosophical correlation between science and 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 democracy. Uh, it, if from science point of view, they certainly should should have a mathematical correlation between uh, between science and and democracy. Uh, that, that that certainly will play a beautiful. Uh, way of interpreting the relation, but but here uh, we we are we are just giving a, a philosophical uh, connection between the two uh, ideas uh, between the two, two between the two states. Uh, the, the the relationship between science and and and, and democracy is it's multi faceted, and 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 the pursuit of scientific knowledge depends on on the on the on the democratic principles uh, such as freedom of uh, inquiry uh, freedom of expression uh, in a democratic society scientists can can certainly freely explore their ideas they can share their findings uh, and engage in 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 peer reviewing processes and uh, trying to foster the inter intellectual progress uh, with, with some collective understanding, at least, uh, at least from theoretical point of view, and and conversely, uh, uh, go, going back uh, to science, science, what science does, uh, it certainly enriches democracy uh, by providing uh, reliable uh, information, uh, by providing evidence, uh, and and on the basis of uh, the the, the information and evidence uh, policy decisions can be uh, can, can can be formed and informed citizens and policy makers uh, they can rely on scientific research 
to, to address social changes uh, ranging from from healthcare and and, and environmental uh, issues to, 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 to the technological advancements and, and economic developments. Uh, moreover, I, I would say that, that science play a vital role in guiding uh, ethical de- debates within a democratic society. Uh, as, as technology advances, um, questions concerning genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, uh, and, and environmental sustainability uh, among other uh, uh, others, uh, uh, they, they require con- careful uh, con- considerations, uh, and 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 this is only possible when there is uh, a healthy relation between uh, between the scientific uh, uh, domain and and the dom- and the democratic domain that's over there, uh, and 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 uh, we can see that that that. that that, that, that the result of this this democratic society uh, is 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 basically the political system of uh, the very country. So what is important here is that uh, the, the political system that's out there uh, in place uh, by virtue of uh, some some plausible democratic uh, process, uh, uh, the, the, the relation between uh, the, the science scientists researchers and the politicians uh, can make uh, can make the, the vibrant things uh, which could be strongly uh, beneficial for, for the societies living uh, in those countries now now what could be what could be the possible uh, uh, challenges uh, what could be the possible challenges uh, uh, when it comes to the relation between uh, the uh, science and a democracy uh, so so despite their complementary nature science and and democracy can can certainly uh, sometimes face challenges and tension uh, for example if i say that scientific findings may challenge the existing beliefs or, or uh, economic uh, interests uh, which could lead to the skepticism or resistance to the change uh, in such instances, maintaining a strong democratic foundation becomes crucial to foster, uh, to, to support the open debates and, and ev- evidence-based uh, decision-making. Additionally, the politicization of science can, can certainly undermine its credibility. Uh, it, it can undermine its uh, objectivity. When, when scientific findings are manipulated uh, to fit uh, a political agenda or ideologies or theories, uh, public trust in, in both science and democratic institutions may erode. Uh, in such cases. So to address this kind of thing, it's always essential uh, to, to, to promote scientific literacy among uh, the masses, uh, among the citizens of the country, and ensure transparent communication of research findings. And, and, and to conclude this talk, uh, in conclusion, I would say that, uh, that science and, and democracy, uh, they are uh, inseparable partners in shaping a prosperous and, uh, and, and equitable uh, society. Uh, as the pursuit of knowledge and, and collective will of the pupil, uh, they, they, they create a foundation for progress. They, they create a foundation for innovation. They create a foundation for social development. Uh, and and lay certainly emphasizing the, the integration of scientific principles in in democratic decision makings, uh, and and nurturing a democratic culture within a scientific commun- community will certainly pave the way for for the bright future of the citizens living in that country, and and where the evidence based policies and informed citizens uh, they certainly drive the positive change. Uh, by upholding the, the connectedness between science uh, and, and, and democracy. Uh, and societies can strive towards the betterment of, of humanity as a whole. Now, now humanity will not uh, uh, extend only to the country here. Uh, uh, the flowers, uh, uh, 
the, the beautiful fragrance that will come out of those countries, that fragrance will pave the way for all the humans living in this globe. That should be the way uh, how the democracy and, 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 and science should work together.